Vanishing items, handprints on mirrors, and paranormal activity are not uncommon things to experience at the Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville. The deep southern antebellum plantation has been the center of intrigue and mystery since 1796. Oh no, they'll communicate with you. After you've been here a while and they really know who you are, and they will know who you are, they'll actually call your name. So yeah, they will communicate with you. The plantation staff believes there are at least 14 spirits on the property and that a few of them are children. I'm not sure if the children know they're dead or not, um, but they do try to communicate with you. I had a young single man staying in one of the rooms one night and he said he woke up in the middle of the night and a little girl was standing over him and when he opened his eyes up, the little girl goes, hello. Although the spirits of children appear to be pleasant, the plantation has a dark past with many deaths occurring on the property person. You see them one moment and the next moment you don't see them. I've seen enough and felt enough to know that absolutely they're here. The Myrtles Plantation keeps its rich history alive through guided tours and a bed and breakfast that allows guests to stay the night attracting year-round tourism. Uh, we have people come from all over the world so our biggest impact I guess is on the economy. It's very important to let people know what was happening around here 200 years ago. You know, the history is, you know, there's a lot of history here, but also a lot of mystery. Abby Rocha, Tiger TV.